10 reasons why you're living in deception. 10 reasons why you are living in deception. If you're not living in deception, you're living righteously. Hey, glory to God. Number one, you are living and serving sin. You are living in adultery. You are living a fornicator, a whole sexual lesbian. Hallelujah. A lesbian and the list goes on. That's number one. Are you living in deception? Number two, you're living in secret. You know who you know who God know and reveal it to his prophet. What? You live it in secret. And you know God know you and God reveal it to his prophet. Every message, let me tell you this, every message that I preach or comes on YouTube, I don't make these messages up. God on my knees, give me to speak to the people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number three, you are living but hallelujah beneath or, or or living, glory to God, a scene pretend to be real, but you are fake as a as a dollar bill. Yes, you are living being the scene pretending to be real, but you are fake as a dollar bill. God is saying to you, you are living a life of fakeness. You are living a life like a dollar bill that been counterfeit. Are you living in hypocrisy? Are you living deception? Hey, glory to God. Number four, you are living, you are not living in the scripture, but opposite of God's word, just like Satan. You're living in pride. You're living exalted. You live like you are that. You open your chest and you are super religious. You ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Fifth reason. Are you living in deception? You are. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. Your Savior seek, hallelujah, to save, which is lost. You have not yielded to God. Are you living deception? Are you living deceive? Are you living a lie? You still worship in Satan kingdom of darkness. Because you are dark on the inside, though you think true believers are dupe of who you are. I know who you are. You are living deceive. You are living a dupe life. You are living a hypocritical life. I know who you are. Hey, glory to God. Number seven, you are not a saint of God, a believer of the Holy Scripture, not just a church church goer. What? You're not a Christian? You're not a servant of God? You're not living after scripture? You're just a church goer. Hey, glory to God. Number eight reason, you are a sinner. Yes, you are a sinner. Your lifestyle represents who you represent. You don't represent God. God people are loving people. God people are nice people. God people are not complainers, but God people are praises. And if you're not loving people, if you're not nice, the Christian, we ought to be the nicest people in the world. We don't need coffee to, to, to make us nice. We don't need coffee to say good morning. But we need joy on the inside. So you're not living as a Christian. Knife reason. You are not connected to the source which is divine in St. John the 15th chapter. Yes, you are not connected to the vine. And the reason why you're not connected to the vine because your lifestyle speaks louder than your lips. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people, my friend, are you living in deception? Yes, are you living? Be honest. And the best thing to do, God can move the deception out of your life and give you deliverance. Yes, he can deliver you right now. It's time for you to be delivered. Because if you're not delivered, you're going to be damned and go to hell. Oh, excuse me, you don't believe in hell. There's a hell whether you believe it or or not. Hey, glory to God. Number 10th reason why you live in, in deception, you, you let the, the serpent in your life 
by holding conversation rather than resisting him and he will flee from you. We make the biggest mistake by talking to Satan. We make the this bigger decision by holding conversation with the enemy. We hold back to back talk with the devil. Eve got in trouble by conversating with the devil. The devil has nothing for me to hear because the devil is full of lies. He's a father of lies. So why would I want to hear fantasy? Why would I want to hear fables? Why would I want to hear what the devil has to say to me? The devil has no truth because he's the father of lies. So you let the serpent in your life by holding a conversation rather than resisting him and he will flee from you. And this message is for young girls that is keep on talking to the drug lord. You keep on talking to a boy who wants sex. And by you standing there, he's going he gonna to turn you on for you to go against what you believe abstinent so he give you a condom and you lower your standard and you say okay meet me next door but if you just walk away you say no and walk away but you stand there and let this joker who gave you a condom and your your guard is down and he creep in and let you have a baby now you raise this baby all by yourself you bring a bastard in the world and you not even married to this guy he don't even help you he don't even carry to the hospital he don't even take care of the baby with you are you living in deception? So the best thing to do, young people, if you're watching this video, the best thing to do, if this guy offers you drugs, say no and walk away. If he asks you, do you want to sleep with me? Just say no and walk away. If you say, let's go to the club, walk away, say no and walk away. Don't stay there and compromise. Don't stay there and explain to him why not. Eve got in trouble by talking back to the enemy. And the enemy let her lower her standard and ate the fruit. Are you living in deception? You are deceived because you're not informed of the information you carry in your hand every day. The word of God is your information. And by you not being in tune, by you not being informed, Satan comes and twists the word that you should be been already inspired by. Are you deceived? If you are in an organization that your leader don't believe in God, your, your, your leader don't believe in the word of God, and you are in an organization by the multitude, everybody is doing it. So it must be right. No, everybody go doing it. It don't mean it's right. Let's go to the Bible. Glory to God. Moses sent 12 spies. When Moses sent 12 spies, are you listening? Two spies say we are able to, to get the land. But 10 spies say we are not able. And then the Bible say the people listen to the majority. And they say we're not able. But the minority say we are able. What I'm saying, the Bible say many are called, but few are chosen. So are you deceived? Everybody is deceived. So don't mean that I'm going to be deceived. The majority is not the, 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 the solution. Listen to me. The majority is not the solution. The minority is because many are call but few are chosen there's a broad way and a broad way lead to destruction and many there be that find it the narrow way and few there be that find it ten men say that they were not able but joshua and caleb say we are able we are mighty in the sight of those grasshoppers they might look like grasshopper, but we are mighty. Goliath was killed by a shepherd boy with one stone. And all those people hear the threat of, 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 of uh, uh, the giant, Goliath. 
But one boy got a stone. I don't know what the stone was. I don't know if the stone was Jay. And he put it in a slingshot and uh, he hit the giant and he fell down and David cut off his head. So majority does not mean it's right. But minority does. So if you are surprised and you fall in an organization because of majority, you're going to go straight to hell with the majority. But the minority counts. So I'm saying to you that's watching this video. Number 10 say, so you let the serpent in your life by holding a conversation rather than resisting him and fleeing from him. You let it reduce you and you open the door. Young people, hallelujah, say no and walk away. Don't hold no conversation. Say no and walk away from that cracker. Walk away from the drug lord. Walk away from the pimp that pimping you. Walk away from a person that want to go clubbing on Saturday or Friday and then go to church on Saturday or Sunday. Walk away. Don't even answer him. Say no and keep on going. Hey, glory to God. I'm saying, are you living in deception? It's time to know your place, your purpose. Hallelujah. In God. What? It's time for you to know your purpose, your place, and your plan. Hallelujah. And the present of God in your life. Are you living in deception? If you are, it's time for you to repent and come clean with God. Say, Father, I've been living in deception. Take me out from this living condition. Make me to be the person that you say in the word of God. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. Father, I've been bad. Make me good according to the word of God. I'm tired of living deception. Make me the man. Make me the woman of God. Make me to be who you want me to be, not what an organization want me to be. Father, forgive me. Wash my sins away. Make me a new person in you, oh God. I thank you. I praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, oh God, for bringing me to, 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 to reality rather than living in deception. Thank you, and just now pray. Amen. God bless you.